my name is Rune Jacobsen and I'm a product manager at Dan Audio for the Pro Division. And we are here at the Medium Show and uh, now it's night so we can sneak out the little secrets. So I'm standing here with the latest edition of the Core Series called Core 47. As users will know we have a lot in our naming now so 47 refers to a 7 inch woofer and a 4 inch mid. So it sits directly in between the Core 7 and the 59 that we have already launched. What? Yeah, and we're doing using the 59 here at the the Unheard. What this one does is like studios who wants this real three-way performance but doesn't have the space. We have just shrunk it even more down. But it's there is so much power built into this little box. Two times 500 watt, 150 for the tweeter. And it's massive, it's compact, but it has punch. Um, we have done a lot of work in the, on the enclosure. It's rock solid, which means you have full control of everything you do. You can go loud, you can go precise, you can do whatever you have from the other calls, but you have this compact feel. So if you want to have a real freeway speaker, but don't have the space, this is the choice for you. So Ashley, how would you uh, would you see the speaker at your place? Well, I'm I'm pretty excited about this because I, I've been using the both the Core 7s and of course the Core 59s here in the Unheard Studio, and uh, I, what I'm excited about is that it's the same power as the 59 in the smaller package. So so many studios nowadays are are having to work in smaller spaces. So having a small format monitor that has full range capacity plus the clarity and mid-range of a three-way system in such a small package uh, is kind of ideal. Uh, you know, broadcast trucks, small uh, tracking studios, even bigger tracking studios. I mean, it's 1150 watts, 500 watts on the woofer, five in the, 500 in the mid-range and 150 in the tweeter. That's a lot of power. I know I can depend on that kind of power in a small situation, so I have a no compromise monitor, even in uh, uh, a smaller studio or perhaps like a mobile truck or something like that. So I'm just really excited. It kind of looks, looks like a bulldog. I think it's, it's like small and stout and very powerful. So I'm very excited to, to hear this speaker and uh, see what it can do. Um, uh, I think we might be able to try it out maybe in the unheard container at some point we're looking forward to that I know I am um, so yeah I think it's a great way to go the 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 core 7 of course is a, a an excellent speaker in the smaller range and then the 59 is the big brother and then here is like the little middle child that <laughs> still has all the power of the big boy um, but the same size as the 7 I'm, I'm correct about that right it's the same cabinet size as the core 7 that's amazing to me that they've been, able, they've been able to pack this in such a small package. So I am looking forward to giving this a try and seeing what it sounds like. I think if it's a different purpose than some of those who really need the 59, I think we will see a lot of 59 soffit mounted in a bit bigger studios, maybe a bit more the rock and roll guys. I see uh, the smaller places, but maybe a lot of post-production where they really want the clarity and and the direction of the mid-range when you do a lot of vocal. There it fits a different purpose than the 59 does. I think a lot of 59 you will see more music rock and roll guys. Um, with the 47, the compact design is just something we have learned people really look forward to. I think this is, will be the most logic upgrade as well from our very successful uh, LYD48. A lot of people have been really happy with what the 48 does, like bringing this, ah, I want the main monitors but I don't have the space. We have shrunk them down for you. Um, and this is just a natural upgrade for all of them because all of a sudden you go into all the specifications or specific features of core. You have the extra power but you have the digital in. You can do a lot of things that you can't do. Plus the only thing people maybe have complained about sometimes from the LYD48 is we want to go louder <laughs> and this goes loud <laughs> so one of the things that makes me excited about this uh, uh, 
since the the tweeter is the same across the core range when building a surround system for film mixing or Dolby Atmos, um, a lot of times the surround speakers, there's size restrictions there because you need a whole bunch of them or you got to mount them in the ceiling. Uh, this looks like a great option when you're in that situation. Maybe you have Core 59s in the front LCR array and now you use Core 47s in the surround configuration and maybe in the Atmos uh, uh, ceiling speakers. So when you get into post-production, game audio, film mixing and all this sort of stuff, you have this incredibly accurate, high-powered monitor that's in a compact package that can be mounted any way you want, from the ceiling, from the walls, in the rear, in the front, you can soffit mount these. They even, even have a soffit filter, just like the 59s and just like the 7s. So you can build an entire system out of the core range in whatever configuration is necessary for your studio. And so it, it's just a great solution. Now we've got a mid-sized uh, speaker in the core range that has the mid-range clarity, especially for film and dialogue, and but also can be mounted in multiple uh, ways. So a lot of post-production facilities have limited space, yet they still need a full surround capacity, and they want highly accurate monitoring for dialogue clarity and uh, mixing translation to the theaters, the dub stages, uh, to TV, et cetera, et cetera. So, it just seems like it's a great option uh, to bring the mid-range clarity into a small compact form that's easily mountable for all these new configurations that we have with Dolby Atmos and surround. So if I have to sum up the Core 47 in two words, one word's hard, two words, compact performance. That's it for me. That was a decent, decent shot. Sums up pretty good. Uh, as it's a bit, it's all you need, but it's, but that's, that's three words. <laughs> if I have to sum up the Core 47 in two words, it would be full control. <laughs>